Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a review tutorial and swatches of Be Bella's most recent palette which is called Life in Pastels, right? It says Life in Pastels Shadow Palette. Now the original packaging you guys comes like this, right? It says Be Bella and it says Life in Pastels. It has this watercolor rainbow um, image on it like I don't know how to say it but the background is super pretty I'm gonna tell you guys that if you've been watching me for a while you already know I don't like pastels like I don't like pastel shadows I don't but when I saw the packaging I just I couldn't say no I'm a sucker okay I got sucked in and I'll be the first person to admit it <laughs> that I like the packaging and I that's what I went for okay it is cruelty free. It doesn't say anything about being vegan in the back, just in case. I don't know. But the packaging is pretty. When you have it and take it out of the slip, right? It says Bebea Cosmetics. The back is basically the same thing. It does have a little plastic um, protection for the top of the shadows. But the, the mirror is completely clean. There's nothing protecting it. Up here says Bebea Cosmetics. And then right here it says Life in Pastels. And these are the tones in here. It's very pretty. Honestly, for the price that I paid for it, it wasn't wasn't bad quality at all. Like nothing. I thought it was actually surprising. Very good quality for the amount that I paid. And I'm not even 100% sure, so don't quote me. I think it was like $12. It, it was $12. If you wanted the... I didn't get the PR box. The PR box was gorgeous gorgeous it was like this huge thing that you would open it up and it had this little design of the rainbow on the outside and everything it's just i don't feel comfortable buying the pr box it's not that i don't want to i i actually wanted that pr box let me tell you but i was like where where am i gonna i'm not gonna i have no use for those big boxes like it's gonna take up room and I already struggle enough of where to put my makeup palette. I'm going to tell you guys that I actually really like this palette. It came, I like the look that I created. I wasn't crazy about it at first. And I know I'm probably going to get a couple of thumbs down. Because that's usually what happens when people don't like my looks. I get a bunch of thumbs down. I'm like, ugh. Hey guys! Not <laughs> I, I actually like it. it. The colors are very intense. Obviously, it's a, it's a rainbow palette. Like rainbow pastel palette. But still... I used um, this one on the bottom right here and oh god let me tell you guys that color right there is pigmented she did not come to play the one that I use as my transition shade fairy right here it is like a pastel lavender kind of color it does have to be built up it does and I'm thinking for the most part the colors that I used I was able to use just barely so definitely if you're my skin tone or darker you're gonna have to make this palette work for you now make this palette work for you what do i mean by that i mean that at first i used um moonlight right here and that one is like a mint um sort of aquamarine shimmer and i put that right here right now that intense mint tone you guys see right there that is not just that color that is that with this on top which is a glitter to make it more intense because this one started to kind of fade it's not that it faded, it sort of just wasn't as intense as I wanted it to. And I figured that's just because, you know, I don't know, pastels are funny. They kind of look off sometimes on my skin tone. And I just feel like it's not intense enough for, for darker skin tone. <laughs> so we have to make it work. So when I added this on top, it just made it like a thousand times. It made it stand out so much better. I had to do the exact same thing with this one right here. I used this purple that's called Periwinkle. Periwinkle on its own is fine. It's fine for skin tones, darker. It's just I wanted some something extra, so I added Dearest, which is a glitter on top of it, and it just made it look more magenta pinkish. The inner corner highlight one I used, which is Starry, that one's fine on its own. I'm just saying if you're darker skin tone, obviously the ones that are like the mat, the mats you're gonna have to work up. You're gonna have to work this one up, this one up, this one up, and I think the rest you should be fine with. Just use a good primer and definitely eyes before the rest of your face. I cannot even stress how much shimmer is on my cheeks <laughs> it's horrible it is horrible the fallout that i had from this initial one the mint one that i used the moonlight and it's just crazy it's all over the place right here and it's not a big deal honestly for 12 dollars, 
I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, you know, just be aware. Do your eyes before, okay? I don't want someone complaining to me later on Saturday and tell us, well, Sarah, telling you right now. Don't do it. Don't be me. <laughs> so I'm going to do the swatches, you guys. I'm going to start right here, and we're going to go clear across until we get to the end, okay? So the first one is called Plushy, and it is a very rose... Uh, pastel pink. Look how light that is. See, I'm telling you guys, you guys have to build it up. So that is right there. That's like about four swatches already. Next we have Starry. This is that one that I used as my inner corner highlight. It is like, um, I want to call it like a vanilla white, but it has this Something a little bit of, of green in it for some reason. That's that's what the vibe that I get off when I'm looking at it. I was like, there's something different about it. It either is looks like a dual chrome with like this green shift, or it's just straight up white and it just has a sometimes temp a uh, like a tint of green. <laughs> I don't know why. It, that's what it looks like to me. And then you have moonlight. Moonlight is that one that I said that I used right here. Moonlight on its own, it looks like a sage bluish type of shimmer on its own it's that was one swatch right there i love it on its own it's just i wanted something more intense to stand out on my skin tone right obviously if you're lighter than me that's gonna look so pretty if you're my skin tone it'll still work if you want something like subtle you could totally do that i just wanted to go in your face you know that, that's just. next we have lemon drop this is a blue a matte blue I'm going to have to give it a couple of swatches. It looks super light. But look at that. Super. Like I said, they're buildable. See? They are buildable. So you don't have to worry about that on that end. It, it is a buildable color. You just got to gotta work it up a little bit. In the next row, we have Fairy, which was my transition shade. This is just a very lavender type of purple matte. This is two swatches right here. Definitely on the arm, you see how intense that came out right away? That's just two swatches. But on my eye, you're going to see, if you make it to tutorial, you're going to see me. Yeah, with, <laughs> with the brush, I had to apply it on a couple of times to get that kind of intensity, right? Then you have Blossom. This is a glitter. Oh, God, I love Blossom. I'm going to put the glitters up here. Blossom is such a beautiful color because it is this very light pink and then inside of it it has these glitters that give up reflect off different colors you know so all those little um, iridescent glitters are giving off purple blue green sort of colors all over the place I don't know I wanted to use that one so so bad today because it just looks so freaking beautiful Honestly, I would love to create another look and use that glitter because y'all already know I love glitters. I know obviously not everybody does. <laughs> Hint of mint is, uh, I'm going to call it like a lime green matte. Chartreuse. Yeah, like a chartreuse. That's what it looks like. I'm going to add about three swatches to this. Super pretty, right? I think I don't, I don't see myself ever using that color. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that color. It's just, I remember when I had to use the Aura Now from ColourPop, I felt very uncomfortable in that type of green, like that pastel in your face green. Like, ugh, I did not feel comfortable in that one. <laughs> Next, you have Lucky Charmed. Lucky Charm is that blue that I said I used right on top of that mint shade that I had. And this is a glitter, it's like a pressed pigment glitter. It's very intense aquamarine type of tone. It's very pretty. In the next row, you have Dearest. This is that purple one that I used on top of that purple right here. So this is another pressed pigment glitter. This one has purple, pinks, and silver glitters all throughout it. So I don't think you guys are going to see all those other little glitters mixed in there, right? But uh, that's why I describe them to you guys. <laughs> Pink Punch is a pink matte tone. This one looks so pretty. I didn't get to use this one. And I only didn't use it because I figured this was one of the ones that I knew for sure which was going to work on my skin tone because it is a darker type of matte. 
I want it, that's why I went for the purple, because I wanted something lighter, so I could basically prove to myself that I could use the palette. <laughs> I wasn't going to go for the obvious, because I said, I know that pink will work for me. That's intense, right? Then you have She's Magical. This is such a beautiful gold. Look at that. It's like a gold shimmer, and it's very intense. So, so pretty. I'm going to give it two swatches, but it actually doesn't need it. It's very intense yellow. Then you have Celestial. This is a green um, shimmer. I really love this one. This is very pretty. I'm going to give this one another swatch. Sort of looks like a mint green, even though in the pan it looks more like a green clover kind of green. I don't know. Next row you have Periwinkle, which is that purple that I initially used on this side of my lid. This is just a very intense purple shimmer. I loved it. It's super pretty. So on its own, like I said, you guys don't need that glitter on top. On its own, it's a very beautiful purple. I just added the, gl the glitter because I wanted something extra, but you don't technically need it. Next we have Ice Aqua. This is a blue type of shimmer. Very pretty. I didn't get to use that today and I so wanted to use it because it's like, oh, it's, it's, it's this very intense ocean blue. Look at that. Oh, God. Look how beautiful that is. Then you have Aura. Aura is that green that you guys see down here and the little line across my lid. This one does feel very dry and chalky, but I don't have any, I didn't have any problems with blending and it does show up sort of patchy right there. But I had no problems with blending. So, like I said, this might be swatch, you know, swatch performance versus eye. I had no problems on the eye. Aquamarine is the last shade in here. It is a very pretty, pretty green. It's a matte as well. Oh, God, that one's so beautiful. I didn't get to use that one today. Look how beautiful that is. I love that one. And those are all the tones in this palette, you guys. Like I said, you know, it's, it wasn't bad. It's not bad quality for the price that I paid for it. It's super cheap. That's why I was, like, surprised when I used it. I was like, wow, this is actually not half bad <laughs> for $12. There was just that one patchy shade and the rest are perfectly fine. They are like you have to build them up and that's not a game changer to me. That That's basically not a loss to me. If I can build it up, then I can build it up, you know. It's the ones that you put it on and the pigmentation just like pfft, dies. Those are the ones that I feel like, okay, you're not worth paying. <laughs> you're not worth no $12. I also forgot to show you guys that... Three of these shades have little stars. Well, they had little stars on them. I'm hoping you guys can see plushy still. They had like a little tiny star indentation on it. That one had it. Um, Hint of Mint had it. And this one had it. But this one all but disappeared already because of the swatches. That's what kind of bums me out when that happens. I honestly don't like it when that happens. But it is what it is, right? YouTube life. Pretty much it. I'm going to let you guys go if you guys want to see how I created this look today then just stay tuned so for my first color you guys i'm gonna use fairy right here which is a basically a lavender type of matte and that is what i'm gonna use on my transition shade okay next i went in with periwinkle over here which is a very dark purple shimmer and I am just going to apply it with my finger half on this side of my pupil right here, okay? <laughs> on my eye. That is what you guys are going to see me do. So now we're going to go in with Moonlight right here. It is like a very pastel, aquamarine type of tone. It's a shimmer. Now... <laughs> I want to tell you guys that when I applied that one over here, it wasn't bright enough for me. 
Like it did come out intense because I applied it in this area right here, right next to that purple. I put it in there with my finger and at first it was like super like metallic in your face type of feel. But then give it a minute and it died down to nothing. Like it just barely shows up as like a pale white tone thing. And I didn't like that. So I am going to go over that with something else. But I'm just letting you guys know for now that that's the one I'm going to use. And I'm just going to apply it right there in that area. Basically blending into that purple. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Dearest right here. This is like, um, it's a straight up concentrated glitter. It's very pretty. It's like a lavender and it has all these about silvery tone glitters in there. It's like a thick formula. It's very, it moves in the, <laughs> in the pan when you're trying to use it, which I thought it was weird because I was like, it feels like a shimmer, but then it's obviously glitter. It has glitter all over it. So I'm going to take that one and I'm going to apply it directly on that purple right there. Just makes it more intense. That's why I liked it. So that's what I'm going to do. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on that blue that you have, you guys have, I have on there. It, I'm going to use Lucky Charm right here. Lucky Charm is the same thing. It's a very putty-like formula. It's it's obviously a glitter, but it feels like a shimmer with glitter for some reason. Um, I'm just going to apply that directly over that mint color, the aquamarine color that I put on earlier. I just felt it was too pastel for my taste, and I wanted something intense. And I love the way when I put it on the actual... Um, this color right here that's called Moonlight. When I put it over the Moonlight, it just like... Uh, it made it so like intense and I love that. So that's what you guys are gonna see me do. I'm just gonna take that Lucky Charm color and I'm gonna apply it right on top, okay? Now I'm gonna use Aura right here, which is a straight up emerald green matte. It's a straight up matte and it's so intense and pigmented, it's crazy. So I just applied it all down here. And then you guys see that line right there across my eye? <laughs> that is the same color. That is Aura right there. So I'm going to do this down here. And then very lightly, I'm just going to trail like a line across my lid. At first, I wasn't liking it. But then I, at the same time, I'm like, I'm feeling it. Okay, I like it. I just only wish there was a way maybe if I would have had like a liquid to make it more look metallic. I don't know. I still like it. It looks nice. So it kind of may be off to some people. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot of thumbs down. <laughs> but I don't care at this point. So that is what I'm going to do, okay? So now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with Starry right here. Starry is just a very, I want to call it like a white with just like a tiny bit of green in it for some reason. Or like a mint color. It's just super light. I like it. It looks very pretty on the eye, especially as my inner corner highlight. So that is what you guys can see me do. I'm just going to use it, you know, apply it in there using my finger like I always do, okay? So that's pretty much it for the eye look, you guys. Let me just go put some mascara. And then I'm using my BH Cosmetic Power Pencil in the color teal for my waterline, okay? So let me go do that, and I'll be right back to give you guys a close-up, okay? So this is the finished eye look today. Hopefully you guys like it. If the line is crooked, don't give me crap about it, please. <laughs> I struggle so much with hooded eyes. It's crazy. But I like it. I like the way it came out. I like the colors. Um, I had no problems with, like, pigmentation, blending, or anything like that. I think it's a... Very, very good palette for the amount of price that it is right now, you know, and it's super cheap. So, yeah, you guys, let me back you guys out and I'll give you guys my final thoughts over this palette. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. Um, I honestly like this palette. I think it's very pretty. I'm not a huge fan on pastels. You guys already know this by now. Like, and pastels make me feel very uncomfortable. They're not in my comfort zone, so they're very much out of it. And I actually do like this palette. I actually gravitated... Because look at this 
packaging. That is the first thing that drew me to this palette. When they started promoting it on their Instagram page, I was like, oh, I want it just for the packaging alone. I'm just being honest. <laughs> like, I saw that. And even the slip. This is the slip that goes on top. Like, come on. I saw those rainbow colors and it just drew me in. It looks like water paint rainbow colors. I was like, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm just being honest. They, that's what drew me in. But the color story is not bad either. It's very pretty. Now, don't quote me on this, but I think it was like $12. So $12, you guys, for this type of quality is actually not really bad in a way. I like to judge things on its own entirety. You know, not how much, what the brand is exactly. Sometimes you get really cheap prices and the quality is actually not that bad. But I just don't like it when people try to compare this to something that's more expensive, who's been in the game probably more years than this one combined. And I hate it when people are like, well, I'd rather just go get a Natasha Denona. Then go get a Natasha Denona. Who's telling you to go look at the Be Bella then? I don't know. That's how I think. I don't like things being compared to other things. This is this is Be Bella. This has nothing to do with Pamagrad, none of that stuff. So I don't like to compare quality. This is actually good quality for $12. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. For the colors that I use, I use the green one. That one is very pigmented. It had no 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 problems blending out chalky nothing like that is crazy these glitters in here are so freaking pretty and the shimmers are awesome i didn't get to use that one and i i honestly was drawn to that one drawn to celestial because of those type of tones draw me in i so wanted to use blossom you guys that glitter is crazy it has this ballerina pink and all these iridescent you know that type of glitter that gives off different colors all mixed in there and i think it's cute it's a cute color store come on you guys for 12 bucks that's, that's actually good quality right there <laughs> so i'm gonna let you guys go don't forget to comment like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified each and every time i upload a new video and until next time stay warm stay blessed and stay magical bye you guys